All right, let's talk about one of my favorite features, the eight scale. Onyx Backcountry has implemented the Avalanche Terrain Exposure Scale. Back in 2003, there were a few very significant avalanche events that spawned Parks Canada to come up with some sort of solution, or at least a way for the general public to realize how exposed they actually are when traveling into given terrain. The eight scale starts with simple, goes up to challenging, then complex, and finally extreme. And that avalanche terrain exposure scale allows you as a backcountry traveler to get an idea of how exposed you actually are before going into the mountains. So let's talk about how we're gonna access the eight scale. Eight shading is available to both premium and elite subscribers. Go ahead to your web map, click that snowflake icon. That's gonna bring up snow mode. Once you've accessed snow mode, you're gonna access your map layers here and make sure that you toggle on the avalanche terrain exposure scale. You'll see once I do that on my desktop, it allows me to see all the areas that fall into each of those categories, simple, challenging, complex, and extreme. You'll see I can rotate around in 3D view and get better eyes on the terrain before I actually access the field. Looking at my web map right now, it's a great example of how the eight scale can be helpful as I'm planning a tour. Right here, I'm looking up Avalanche Canyon inside the Tetons. I've seen an approach to 25 short here. And you can tell that the eight scale is actually simple and challenging there. So a lot less exposure than over here underneath Shadow Peak where I'm clearly seeing much more complex terrain. First one you're gonna look at, simple terrain. It's indicated on the Onyx Backcountry web map in green. Most of this terrain is low angle and heavily forested. All right, once we exceed simple terrain, we're moving on to challenging. Challenging terrain here, as you see on my web map, is indicated in blue. What challenging identifies is common runouts, common avalanche paths, and terrain traps. You can certainly travel in this terrain, but you have to use very careful route finding. And should this be glaciated, you need to be extra specific about exactly which path you take through the mountains. All right, now let's talk about complex terrain. This is a tricky one. It's indicated in black on the Onyx web map. And this one means that we have a lot of avalanche starting zones and it's really tricky to get out of the way. There's often a lot of terrain traps and actually navigating through this terrain takes a lot of very, very, very careful route finding. And now even with that careful route finding, you're very likely highly exposed to the hazard. The final category in the eight scale is gonna be the extreme terrain category. Extreme terrain, represented in red here, on top of the Grand Teton, has exposure to very steep faces with cliffs, spines, couars, and crevasses, or sustained overhead hazard. No options exist to reduce exposure. Even small avalanches can be fatal. So remember, the eight scale is an incredible tool to be used in concert with the other information available on the avalanche forecast. It's a great tool to allow you to visualize at your home before you go into the field, what areas should be open and more importantly, what areas should be closed. Remember, it's a great way to understand how exposed you are to those hazards before you go into the mountains. And don't forget to use good judgment when using the eight scale in your tour plan.